I have the opportunity to conduct pilot seminars at FBOs and avionics shops all over the country. Recently, those seminars have focused on the GNS 430 and 530, the hottest products in avionics. Today, we're going to take that same seminar and put it in video format. Of course, we'll do a little bit of flying, but the majority is going to be right here on the simulator. I'm going to cover a lot of stuff in this video, but you'll still need to refer to the manual for more information. But so much for the pre-flight, let's get started. First thing we want to do is look at the NAVCOM portion of this box. Basically, if you separate the screen and just look at the left half of it, that's a NAVCOM, straightforward like anything you've used in the past. Right here, we've got our COM box. There's our standby and active frequency. Here's our flip-flop between standby and active. And here's our COM volume. Down here, we've got our VOR frequencies and our flip-flop between standby and active. To change the frequency, simply turn the big knob, changes big numbers, little knob, little numbers, and flip it into the active. Now, since we only have one control knob to change both the VOR and the comm side of the box, we reach down here, push in the middle of the knob, it drops the cursor highlighter down. See it dropping down to the VOR portion? Now I can change a VOR frequency and flip it into active or standby. You won't do that very often. When you're really flying this box, 90% of the time you're on GPS, except when you're doing like a localizer or an ILS approach. And in those cases, you're going to see later on, we tune it for you automatically. And also one other thing to note is on the volume controls, instead of pulling to break ident, you push to break the ident on it or to uh, break squelch. Also on the sides right here are front loaded data cards. Every month when you get your new JEP data, the little handle just pulls out and you pull it straight out of the unit. Now if we look down here at the bottom, you see our CDI selector. Now that's telling us what are we going to display over here on the HSI. Is it going to be GPS navigation there or VOR navigation there? So here's your selector. And this will interface with a standard OBS indicator or an HSI. But it is required for the installation. 